Hello everyone, welcome to another interesting learning time with Ms. Blessing. In today's video, we are going to be learning to discuss and record ideas about excessive tourism on the Great Barrier Reef. In my last video, we had a debate on if tourism is good or not for the Great Barrier Reef. Now, using the information we gathered for that debate, you're going to be discussing and recording ideas on excessive tourism on the Great Barrier Reef. By the end of today's class, you should be able to write down reasons why excessive tourism is not good for the Great Barrier Reef. You should be able to analyze and explain the dangers of excessive tourism on the Great Barrier Reef. You should also be able to reflect on the importance of tourism and generate reasons why it should be promoted on the Great Barrier Reef. Okay, let's proceed with our learning. So today we'll be writing down our ideas and findings based on our debate yesterday. That was the last video. Choose any one of these two tags below. The first one says, write a letter to your teacher explaining why tourism is good or bad for the Great Barrier Reef. In the last video, we learned about debate. We learned about the features of a debate and we had a written debate. Now today we are going to be writing a letter to our teacher explaining why tourism is good or bad for the Great Barrier Reef or design a poster showing why tourism is good or bad for the Great Barrier Reef. A letter written to someone in position of authority such as the teacher is called, pause the video, have a go. A letter written to someone in position of authority such as the teacher is called welcome back I bet you said formal letter if you said a formal letter then a big thumbs up to you now what are the features of a formal letter post the video and have a go what are those things you see in a letter and you know it's a formal letter post the video right now and have a go Welcome back. Now let's see some of the features of a formal letter. A formal letter has the address of the sender and date that the letter is written, the address of the receiver, it has the greeting. What is the name of your teacher? Dear Miss Blessing, Dear Miss Jane, Dear Mr. Paul. Write the name, um, the greeting to the person in authority you are writing to. And in this instance, remember, you're writing to your teacher. So first we have your address, we have the date, and then we have the address of the teacher and greeting to the teacher. And here in the middle, at least three paragraphs mix up the body of the letter. Here, you'll be telling the teacher why you feel excessive tourism is not good for the Great Barrier Reef, at least three points. When you are done explaining your feelings and your thoughts on the topic given, then your salutation, your sincerely, your name again, your class and the name of your school. Sometimes we don't write the name of the school anymore down here. We just write your sincerely, which is the salutation, your name and your class. So this is the characteristics or the features of a formal letter. Now, if you choose to make a poster, what am I expecting to see in your poster? If you choose to do letter writing, I'm expecting to see this format. But if you choose to make a poster, I expect to see what? Short, snappy sentences or phrases expressing how you feel about the topic given. An eye-catching layout. The layout should be beautiful. You should, should, you should beautifully design it. A catchy slogan. The slogan is the word or the heading that gets the attention of the reader. So your poster should have a catchy slogan. It could be excessive tourism on the Great Barrier Reef. Dangers, dangers, excessive tourism on the Great Barrier Reef. These are just my ideas. You need to think and come up with yours. Now, something to offer. What are you offering? What would people see to help them understand that ah, tourism is not good on the Great Barrier Reef? What would you what pictures will you put there or what words would you use to let people know that 
please um tourism is not good what do you do this is how you should do it things to get them um to get their attention and make them think okay okay attention grabbing pictures or photographs to describe what you are the, the strong points you are trying to portray to the public and a final reminder of the product or message this point is message because we are trying to express our feeling that tourism may not be good for the excessive excessive tourism and something is excessive it means it's now too much tourism is good but when it becomes excessive there would be some dangers so what is the final remain reminder or message on your poster these are the things i'm looking out for if you are making a poster so once again choose any of the tags below you either write a letter to your teacher explaining why tourism is good or bad for the great barrier reef or design a poster showing why tourism is good or bad for the great barrier reef i hope you understood today's lesson let me know how you felt about it and i will see you in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe this is me saying bye for now everyone see you in the next video